it's time for news i live on gbc 24 good afternoon and you're welcome my name is soyoko kwakutre the minister for environment science technology and innovation professor frimpon boatin says his ministry will wage a public campaign to encourage waste segregation commissioning a waste recycling plant which will also generate energy Professor Frimpon Boatin said every waste is a raw material and can be used if the various types of waste material are properly segregated. The management of waste in the country continues to be a major challenge confronting households, industries, other institutions and governments. Although several interventions have been introduced to address the waste menace, Little, or in some cases, no results have been achieved. In a bid to deal with organic waste, a company called Safisana has opened a waste-to-energy plant. The plant collects waste from abattoirs, food markets, and human waste, and then converts them into electric power. Some of the recycled waste are turned into compost for agricultural purposes, while the liquid waste are processed for irrigation. The 30-ton capacity plant produces 2.2 megawatts of electricity, which is fed to the national grid. With support of the Dutch government, the plant also produces two tons of organic fertilizer daily. Being a novelty, the facility is serving as a research and knowledge center on waste products, according to the country director and chief executive of Safisana, the problem of waste segregation is a major concern to the running of the plant and proper education is key. In tackling sanitation, ladies and gentlemen, we are also generating electricity, which indeed is contributing to Ghana's target of having about 10% of our generation mix from renewable sources by the year 2020. What we intend to do here, expand the existing op uh, operation in Ashaiman, get more waste, uh, involve the industries, but also learn more. We want to source more from households directly. In the coming years, we intend to build three new factories in Ghana. And that's part of the ask here in the crowd, help us to find those opportunities. The ambassador for the Royal Netherlands, Mr. Ron Strieker, said the Dutch government is happy to be supporting Ghana to deal with the challenge of waste. This project is um, a component of a large pillar of our agenda, our agenda from aid to trade, our agenda Holland and Ghana growing together, which is the WASH pillar. We are spending 82 million in a period of eight years between 2013 and 2020 in the WASH sector. The Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Frimpong Boateng, said every waste is a raw material and the Ministry will begin a campaign to promote waste segregation. What we need in Ghana is to change our attitude. First of all, to know that there is no waste. Everything is raw material. We should do away with landfill sites and separate the waste so that life will be easy for Safisana. And we are happy that the private sector is involved in this energy business. And our government is for private sector initiative. So we are going to have our complete support uh, so that this work will go on. Safitsana Waste to Energy Plant in Ghana is on the modest scale, but certainly an inviting step towards achieving renewable energy policy and sustainable environmental best practices. The Motor Traffic and Transport Department says a total of 2,445 road accidents occurred between January to 11.